Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is David and welcome to Utechpia. Today, we're unboxing this. This is an item I purchased from Prompter People. They uh, make teleprompters and if you don't know what teleprompters are, I'll show you what teleprompters are plus I'll show you how this teleprompter works. So this is a professional one and it costs about $600 but if you're really interested in this one and I recommend it if you're doing this professionally and you need good quality teleprompters, let me know. I'll leave my email in the description below and we can find out some good pricing for you as well. But if you're on a budget, you can get a cheap teleprompter that works with your iPhone or smartphone for about 100 bucks and it's almost as good. Or you can spend about 150 to 200 for a mid-grade consumer level teleprompter that works well with mirrorless cameras and small DSLR cameras. I'll leave a link in the description for those as well. But don't worry about the detail. Let's unbox my new teleprompter. This is again a $600 one. I'm super excited about it. It's my first teleprompter and I think it's going to take my videos to a whole different level. So let's open it up and let's see what we get. We have the main component which is our teleprompter and this is the high quality 40 by 60 beam glass. Let's set this up. So we got our instructions in this nice little envelope here. So here's the instruction guide. We have an instruction guide on how to set up the teleprompter. And we have instructions here on how to set up the Bluetooth remote and instructions on how to use the tab grabber, which is the device that's going to hold the tablet for me. And some basic warranty. Oh yeah, one thing I really like about Prompter People and which is the reason why I bought this from Prompter People instead of other brands is because they have a three year warranty. Yes, 36 months of warranty. They're going to take care of me and that's why I went with Prompter People. First step, let's take our camera off the tripod because now we're going to mount the camera on top or within the teleprompter and have the teleprompter mounted onto the tripod itself. So let's take our quick release plate off of our camera here and now we're going to mount our quick release plate onto the teleprompter and we'll tighten it up with our coin here. Perfect. So now we can slide our teleprompter onto our tripod. Okay, let's expand the teleprompter so that the screen is 45 degrees up. So you want to set it at 45 degrees and you don't need to take out a protractor, ruler, or do any measurement because it's straightforward. There's only two settings, either at 45 degrees or collapse to store it. And that's it. Once you have it in the right position, it locks in, it has a little groove so there's no chance of it falling back down. Pretty solid, simple, but good, well thought out engineering. This is where the iPad's going to sit. So let's go ahead and take it apart, put the iPad, and install it. So here's the component that's going to house the iPad. Oh, they thought of everything. This is really nice soft felt material so it doesn't scratch up the back of my iPad which is something I'm actually concerned about because I like my iPad a lot and I love it to not have scratches. So this is a good design. Good job prompter people for making this felt lining back here. I like it. So in the back of it you can see we have adjustable arms here and we can adjust it to fit the iPad. I believe it fits like an iPad mini up to a full-blown full-size iPad and any other tablet in between too, Android as well. So very simple. Let me pop my iPad on there right now. And here's my iPad Pro. I love this thing. This is Apple's third generation iPad Pro. I got the 12.9 inch screen version. Totally recommend it. It is a thing of beauty. I use it all the time and I find a lot of joy and pleasure out of such a simple device. Totally recommend it. You don't have an iPad yet? Get the third generation iPad Pro 12.9 inch screen. You won't be disappointed. I guarantee you. Okay, let's see the iPad. Wow, couldn't be any simpler than that. iPad is definitely secure and I noticed there's extra spaces. So if I wanted to, I can even keep my iPad in the case and also install it. Which is actually not a bad idea if I wanted to keep it in the case. But for simplicity reason, there's no case on the iPad right now. But I don't have to worry about scratches because everything's protected. These rubber here are really soft and of course on the bottom I have the microfiber material that doesn't scratch the bottom of my iPad. So everything is secured and this thing is secured on with just two thumb screws right here. Very easy. And now we're just going to slide this thing back onto the tray here. Perfect. And we got our two thumb screws that we took out earlier. Just going to put that back on here. And as simple as that, it's secured. Oh yeah, 
This looks really robust and I'm really happy with the quality of the material that I see so far. So there's actually two more pieces that we need to install. This part, which is where the camera slides back and forth, and this part, which is a razor that rises the camera so we can adjust the camera to the perfect height as well as slide this back and forth to get the perfect distance. So this plate just screws on, just one simple screw, just put it in right there. Everything aligns so you can't get this wrong. And the screw has a nice little plastic handle here, makes it very easy to turn the knob, no tools needed. And look at this, this knob sticks out so it limits the, the sliding motion. Say if you want to push the camera even just a little bit more, you can do that simply by lifting this knob up, turning it and letting it go. Yet you didn't tighten or loosen the screw at all. This is a very nice simple feature but features like this show how much time, effort and quality Prompter People puts into their teleprompters. So here's a riser. We actually don't need to use this piece because you can mount your camera directly on here if you have a really big camera and you want it as low as possible so that your lens is still in the middle of the beam splitter screen here. Or if you want to put this adapter here, you can raise the camera up just a little bit or you can use this side to raise the camera up even more. For a smaller camera like mine, I probably need to use this level but we'll see how that looks. So for me, we're going to use a small mirrorless camera and that means I'm going to use this top level riser here that way the camera sits right here and it's just in the middle of the screen. So that's how we're going to do it. Let's go ahead and tighten it up so it looks like this and we'll slide it in so that the lens is pretty close to the beam splitting screen. Let's go ahead and mount our camera. So now that the camera is mounted, let's move the slider to find the perfect distance. So for this small camera and lens setup, pushing the slider in all the way to the end of the travel works perfectly for me. So let's lock it down in place. And just like that, one simple knob locks the razor in place and keeps it from sliding along the slider. Genius! Let's put the hood over our lens so that light doesn't spill from behind. And it could not be any simpler than that. We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and power up our iPad, put some software in there, and let's get rolling. So we got the little mini keyboard that it comes with. Let's go ahead and open it up and charge it up so that we have a keyboard to control our iPad. It's Bluetooth, so there's no wire, makes it simple. And again, this all comes included as a part of a package. So we have our USB charging cable and we have a Bluetooth keyboard. Well, so let's charge this up while we download the iPad app. Go ahead and open the App Store. Let's search for IQ, I-C-U-E. And the first one that comes up is the one we want. It's $7.99 and that's a bargain for what you get. Let's go ahead and purchase this app and see the magic of a teleprompter. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on our keyboard. We'll turn it on here and we'll hit the pairing button right up here. So now it's in pairing mode. Okay, so our keyboard pops up. We'll select the keyboard. It's pairing right now. It tells us to enter 6892. So let's go ahead and hit 6892 and then enter. And there it is. We are paired. It's connected. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So now we just start the IQ app. And now you can just tap the screen and it starts scrolling and you can read what's on the screen. For example, intuitive control, navigate line by line. And if you mess up, you can always go back. And of course, you can change the speed of how fast the text grows too. All that is a basic functionality. And the best part is you're not recording the text that's on the screen because check this out. On this side, the camera doesn't see the text that's on the teleprompter. So here we go. This is the best part about it. I'm looking right into the screen, but I can read the text without memorizing the lines. Intuitive control, navigate line by line, variable speed, bi-directional timer, on-screen countdown, reading guides, mirror, horizontal, or vertical. So you can see, this is great. This is what a teleprompter does. I can look directly into the camera so I have perfect eye contact with you, but the text is right on the screen so I don't have to memorize anything. So right now I'm looking at text, but what the camera records is just me and not the text. Let me show you. So if I flip this around, and look, on this side, you can see the text. It just reads right off the screen, but the camera doesn't see the text. It just sees you, and that's the best part about this whole contraption, and that is what a teleprompter does. So my friends, now you know what a teleprompter does. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. 
And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing to Utechpia. Your support is always, always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey! Hello! Are you still there? Oh, there you are! I see you! Thanks for sticking around! Well, if you want to see more videos, check out these! And um, yeah, these are pretty interesting videos. I hope you like them. And thanks again for watching. I totally appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Well, I'm going to head out now. So, I'll see you later. Bye!